I'm just going to go through it today how I shade using a pen. I would personally prefer to shade with a blue pen, but I don't have one hand at the minute, so we're just going to go black. So I just done those two quick sketches that I found on the internet, and I'm going to try and shade them up in this video using a pen. So I've laid down the outline, the drawing, and just the areas where there's going to be shade on the hair there, on both both pictures, just to show you how I'm going to do it. Now, the, the darker you go, you want to go with the pencil, the more you have, or the pen, the more you have to go back and forth over. So we're just going to start off with a light coat with the pen first. So you're barely scraping the page, just getting the ink onto it. Get all your dark lines in. It doesn't matter that's kind of messy, that's the way you gotta work when you're working with the pens. You're not gonna get a, a smooth finish as such. And get a good blend at the same time, I'd say. Right, so I'll start here. So the shade going all the way up there, I mean, dark shade at the bottom of this bit. So what we're gonna do is just gonna go back and forth a couple of times over the line using the pen. Now you can see that there, it's starting to darken up. So what you do then is, you use lighter strokes as you radiate out from the darker point. Just going back and forth till we get a tone that we're happy with. There's going to be a fair bit of shading in here, so we'll start off with some dark there. Start to bring it out like that. Yeah, that still looks very dark, so what we're going to do is move out here and go lighter again. And then we'll go lighter again. If you want an almost like complete black coverage, you just have to keep going back and forth over the one area continuously until there's no wipe it's left. I recommend going in different directions each time because you'll get a wider coverage of the general area that you're trying to shade. Just like that there. So we'll start here now with the back. This is all very dark. Now you can see there Maybe you can. There is some white bits, but we'll not worry about them for now because this is only a quick tutorial on how to do this. So, building up the, sh the darker shade first, just like that. So now around this area, it's dark as well. So from here outwards we're going to have a lighter shade, so lighter strokes of the pencil, Let's bring it out, continue that down. Yeah. On the camera, because it's not picking out every individual line, it looks very contrasting, I suppose would be the best way of putting it. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and blend it just a little bit more. starting to look just a little bit better and we can go extremely light so we're just discolouring the, the page around the area that we want to shade and then that'll do for that bit. Now when you work this over a whole piece it's going to look better but I only have a short amount of time left in this camera to try and get it done so we'll see what we can do for you. I'm doing the hair or something like that there as you can see it might be best just to to rough it, I suppose, would be the best term to use because it'll look more like strands of hair as opposed to perfectly straight lines, and it's not going to be like that when you're drawing hair. So we're just bringing all the lines in one direction, that's no relation to the band. 
and from there we're going to come at a different angle and do the same thing again, this is called cross hatching and you'll see why now in a second and the more lines that you do in the cross hatching the more times you go over each section the better it's going to look because it'll darken the tone and it'll give a nicer finish that's cross hatching there so what we're going to do is try and darken this so in the same direction we went the first time I'm just going to draw some lines and then we're going to go back again the other way but that's not exactly parallel you get the idea of what we're trying to achieve so we'll go back down and start working on the back again there's only two minutes left for the camera delays out on me Let's see if we can get them. So now as you can see the body is starting to take shape but what we'll have to do is work more tones in and around these dark areas because the page is white and then we use this stark black contrast so we need to blend everything to make it look to make it look well. So we'll just continue on with the shade. That's going to have to do for now because I am running out of battery, unfortunately. I think we're actually getting somewhere with this anyway. I'll post a finished picture of this on my Facebook, which I'll leave a link to in the description below. If you want more videos on drawing, painting, anything else, please comment, rate and subscribe. Till next time, and thanks for watching.